Uh, well, another episode in adventure and hose your craft. Uh, if you like this video after you watch it, click like. If you don't like it, click dislike. If you have not yet, punch that subscribe button. And also, if you want to get notified when I have new videos, ring that bell. Okay, today I'm out here with the chickens and ducks. And uh, we'll talk about a couple of things that are important for the health and happiness of your chickens and your ducks. Uh, one of the things is that chickens will need a dust bath. Ducks will need a place to take a bath. And these are some very different areas. Also, every single day, your chickens and ducks need to have clean, fresh water. It doesn't matter if it's rain water or if it's uh, water out of the faucet. The important thing is it needs to be clean because especially if you have ducks, that water is going to get very dirty very fast. And chickens, they're going to scratch all kind of stuff into whatever their water container is unless you have nipples. But uh, I don't use nipples, I use pans. So basically I dump out the pans with the dirty water. That's a good fertilizing source for around the area where I can plant plants that can grow that they can eat. Uh, another episode there. And uh, so let's, let's take a look at a couple of amenities that the chickens and ducks get to make sure they're healthy and that they're happy. What you notice is we have an area which is full of nice dry dirt. And you see this area they've dug in. We have a chicken which is currently doing what we know as a dust bath. Uh, basically, they throw dirt into their feathers. Um, I use DE to eliminate mites and fleas and ticks, but this is one of the natural ways that birds take care of themselves. It's kind of a, uh, a scrubbing solution, kind of like pomace or ground peach seeds or whatever you have in your soap which gives a scouring nature to their cleaning. So an area that chickens can have a dust bath is very important. Also something that's very important is to regularly change water. Keep the water clean. You now this water has got some discoloration because it's rain water, but it's clean water. And you see this larger bucket is already turning brown from mud and muck from the birds jumping into the water pan, taking a bath, because ducks like to bathe that's why i have this big big tub over here where they actually get inside here swim around take a bath and hop out now that's going to have to be dumped that's you know a good 50 60 gallons of water and so you need to maintain a lot of water that's why i have multiple water drums which when it rains they fill up uh, a couple other important things, other than just make sure they have clean water both outside the coop when they're running around in the daytime, getting all their insects and plants and scratching around. Um, inside the area, you need to make sure that they have a source of clean water. I actually installed drains in my chicken coop so I can rinse the area out and make it clean, make sure there are plenty of good, clean bedding at all times. Um, up here you have this area which I used to store parts but is now oh my god they're laying more eggs already um, a nesting area so I keep plenty of fresh clean bedding here all the time and I have a food trough which they can't poop in very easily because it's hidden underneath uh, you have roosting areas where they sleep very important they have good roosting areas and fresh clean food you want to make sure that their food is clean. Um, I have this at the perfect size. They will empty this out every night. All I got to do is wipe it with a dry cloth and refill it. Um, I store a lot of my food. I, luckily, I get these paper barrels, but plastic bags, tra trash bags. I keep my food enclosed and sealed up so that it doesn't get a lot of moisture contamination or contamination from chickens pooping on the food because if they have an open bag they're going to get in the bag they're going to poop in it and that can cause diseases it's real important also um one of the things that i do keep around is i keep uh well it's a throwing knife but for me it's a tool uh it's important to keep a tool so that you you notice see the poop you know you've you got this roosting area Chickens are going to roost and they're going to poop. And I take and I constantly, I will clean that area with this nice scraper. I've got this can down here. I collect that chicken gold and I can put that into potting soil to make a fertilizer.
See, there's another chicken waiting in line to take that dust bath.